there's a reason that I'm a cake person and not a computer person because these things make me nuts. Sorry about that guys, technical difficulties, you know, we're depending on the internet here. But I'm back and we're gonna continue with our bunny molds. Remember, melted white chocolate's going into the mold. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there. When you, when you put this in, you wanna fill to the top without going over, okay? So it's kinda like the price is right. Get it there without going over. Because you don't wanna have to trim this later. I always make two, I only need one. But I'm gonna make two in case I have a problem with one, I have a backup. So there we go. So I got the mold filled up, I'm gonna tap it out. That's gonna get rid of any air bubbles that you might see at the back of the pot or the chocolate piece. Tap it out, get a nice flat center. And then this is going into the fridge. This is gonna go into the fridge for about 15 minutes to set up. And then by the time we get our cake ice been filled, it'll be ready to go. But this bunny needs some feet. So we're gonna also, pipe some feet down on the same tray before we put it in the fridge. For that, I'm gonna use a piping bag, fill it up with a little bit of white chocolate again, so his feet match his face. It's always good when your feet match your face, you know. Need a little scissor to cut my, the end of my bag off here. I was commenting earlier to Russ before we started that my day is going amazing. So it just makes sense that we would have a little technical difficulty, but we're back and our day is still amazing. We're not gonna let that stop us. All right. Current wants to know if the bunny has a name. This bunny, it's, good um, question. it's a good question. Yes, so all of our bunny, and Eric is asking this question for a reason. All the bunnies that we make at Chocolate Carousel have a name and we name them after, uh, well, some have just their original names and then others have become named after employees that are part of our team here. So this particular bunny does not have a name, but we could name him today. So if you have something you'd like to see this guy be called, post it in the comments section. So I'm gonna make a few ovals here on my parchment paper with the white chocolate. That one I don't like the way it came out. So I'm gonna do four, because I have two bunnies and so I have four feet just in case I need them. And that's all you're gonna do right now for the feet. It's just sort of an oval, a little bit bigger than a quarter shape on your parchment paper to set up, and while that happens, I'm gonna ice the cake for you. Okay. So, I'm gonna start with chocolate and vanilla layers for this cake, and I'm gonna fill it with a coconut buttercream, just because I feel like coconut is really Eastery and also springy. So um, do my chocolate piece on the bottom. A little bit of buttercream there to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna fill. So the way I make my coconut buttercream is my buttercream recipe. So whatever your buttercream recipe is. And then I add to it desiccated coconut. So desiccated coconut is really fine coconut and it's sweetened. So it's really great just to add it into the buttercream, just fold it in and it works terrific. Gives it a really coconutty taste. I like the desiccated because the pieces are small and they're, they're a little more petite so you don't get these big mouthfuls of coconut when you eat it. And it has a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna fill with the coconut buttercream and I'm gonna use three layers of cake here. I'm gonna alternate between the chocolate layer and the yellow. So my cake will have a vanilla center and two chocolates. You could do it the other way around if you like, but you know me, I love my chocolate cake. So I want a little bit more chocolate in there. All right, good amount of filling. I like to say about a quarter to a half inch of filling in the middle. So you wanna be able to taste that when you're enjoying the cake. Sometimes we forget when we're working on cakes and we're decorating cakes that we're gonna actually eat these too. So we want them to look really cute and wonderful, but taste delicious. I think I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna break my own rule. I'm usually a bottoms up girl, but I like this little bit of the dome feel on this. It's kinda gonna work good for my Easter egg patch. So I'm gonna leave that like that. And I'm gonna ice this with green, green for grass. So I made some green buttercream, just a regular buttercream, added some 
green food coloring to it. I like food gel because I get it gives it a nice even color without uh, loosening up the buttercream much. It still keeps it nice and stiff. And when I ice, I always have my spatula straight up and down for my sides. So you never want to be pulling down on the cake because you'll make crumbs and you don't want crumbs in your frosting. So I always put a little bit of excess icing on the end, push it over the side, kind of over the cliff, and then with my spatula straight up and down, I pull it around. And this will get the cake co covered nicely and not break any crumbs off of the cake so you don't have any cake crumbs showing in your finished product. And I always ice generously. The first pass with the icing is to get the cake covered. Then we can clean it up. All right, so cake's covered. I'm gonna use my cake comb to clean up the sides. Pull into the center for my top. Okay. Now, not worrying too much about the top because we're going to cover that with the dirt. And on the sides, I'm going to give it a little bit of a texture. So once I get it cleaned up and get this excess icing off the board, I'm going to texture the sides for you a little bit. And I'm just going to use my spatula to do that. This is really easy and it's it's great fun. You can do this texture on any cake you do. But I want to give this sort of a grassy hill kind of look. So I'm just tapping the cake lightly with the spatula. And as I pull out, it's lifting the icing away from the cake to give it that, that type of texture effect. I'll just come around, make sure I have it all the way around. Sometimes I uncover too much cake. I need a little more icing to fill that part in. That's fine. Okay, so that's the textured look that I'm going for with this. Now, I put a little bit of the green icing into the pastry bag and I have a grass tip on there. Grass tip has a flat top and a whole bunch of little holes. See if you can see it. Um, the, maybe if I squeeze through you can see it. So it's got a whole bunch of little holes So the icing comes out like little strands of grass and I'm gonna just come all around the cake Squeezing and pulling as you pull up you kind of let go of the pressure To get that grass look And I'm gonna make my border all the way around with the grass tip I also like to give it some grass along the base, but it doesn't have to be a full border of grass, just randomly here and there. Give it some, some wild grass coming out from this cute Easter egg patch that we're creating. And here and there, as we go around. Okay, so we get to that point, now we're going to Add some dirt. For that, I'm using Cookie Crunch. You can use crushed up Oreo or any kind of chocolate uh, wafer cookie or chocolate graham cracker. Just crush it up. And that's what we're going to use for the dirt. So I'm just going to sprinkle this in, and the border, the grass border that we created, will hold it in. That's going to be a barrier so that it doesn't fall out of the cake. Oh, a nice generous amount of that on top. Give you your dirt. All right. Now, I'm gonna wait till I put my bunny in to get my eggs going. Uh, but I have these malted eggs. You can use foiled eggs. You can use jelly beans. Whatever you can get your hands on. Let's get rid of this. And I'm gonna show you what the bunny looks like when it comes out. Pop it out of the mold. This is what it looks like. We need to decorate the face a little bit. that aside for a second. I'm also going to grab some pink chocolate, which I pre-melted again, melting it low and slow. So put it in your microwave if you want to do it that way. Half power, one minute at a time, stir and repeat. 
Don't get overzealous on me. You'll burn your chocolate. It's very fragile. So a little bit at a time, low and slow. I'm gonna grab a pastry bag for the pink as well. And I wanna get my feet out of the fridge. Okay, got two feet here. Then I'm gonna, I pick two that are about the same size so you can kind of see when you line them up with his feet how cute he is already. So pink. So a lot of times people ask me in the store, why the bunnies have pink ears? It's for a boy, blah, blah, blah. Bunnies have pink ears, people. Boy, girl, doesn't matter. They have pink ears. We do use rainbow colors and other colors in our bunnies too, so don't worry. But a bunny with pink ears doesn't necessarily have to be a girl bunny. So if you want this guy to have a boy name, submit me a boy name. I'm looking for a name for him. Now you gotta pick a name that's not already taken. Our most popular bunny is the one we made last week on live when Lauren was with me, which is Henry. He's the sitting bunny. Um, and we also have bunnies named for everybody that works here, including the Lisa bunny. You have to come in and see her, she's really cute. All right, so with the pink, I'm gonna pipe his ears. So basically, just gonna come right along, make sure I made a big enough hole here, come right along his ears that are outlined from the mold, and I'm gonna fill it in with pink. Okay, I think I'm gonna give him a pink nose too. And a little bit of pink for his cheeks. So for his cheeks, I don't really wanna pipe it on, I'm gonna paint it on, so I'm gonna put a little bit down on my paper towel using my brush because I don't want him to have like really bright pink cheeks. I just want to give him a little pink hue. So I'm gonna paint that on. So I can have a lighter pressure, have a little more control over it than if I was squeezing it out of the pastry bag. I'll, you could paint everything on too. I like the pastry bag because it's faster. But if you're more comfortable with the paintbrush, you could definitely paint it on. All right, so that's that. Now for his feet, he needs a little pad at the center of his, you call him a paw? Russ, do you call it a paw with a bunny? I don't know. I think paw's right. Let's go with paw. Erica likes Jameson the bunny. Jameson, I like that. It's a very creative name and yeah, it has a lot of interesting meanings behind it. Okay, that'll be his name. Good job, Erica. There we go. All right, so now you need his little toesies. I'm giving him three. Okay, he also needs eyes, which I have these two little cute little sugar eyes here, and I'm gonna put those on, but I'm gonna use the white chocolate to do that, not the pink, because I don't want him to have pink googly eyes coming out from behind his, his white eyes. You just use a little white chocolate, that's my glue. And that's gonna be for his eyes. Attach those down. Okay. So he's already starting to dry, but I want to get him into the fridge again for just another second, just to have the, the pink chocolate that we just put on dry. So I'm gonna go scoot these into the fridge. your best part your best part is always your front so I kind of like this I'm gonna make this the front so which means my bunny head is gonna come right here so I want to come around that with some of these Easter eggs using the grass tip make a little bit of a spot of buttercream so you have something for this to stick to it's not gonna stick real well to your cookie crumbs Jenny's calling the bunny slice is that allowed the bunny slice sure why not there we go. yeah that's like calling shotgun, right? Gotta get in there first if you want the bunny slice. Plus, who can say no to Jenny? Uh, I'm surprised she didn't save it for Bruno Mars. That's her favorite. She loves Bruno. Loves the Bruno. Yep. All right, so a little bit of grass here. 
Sorry, Jenny. Okay, let's not have her walk out today. We have a lot of cakes to make. We wanna keep her happy. All right, so in that few seconds that I worked on that, I'm sure that my chocolate's set up. So let me grab that out. Yes, it did. All right. So, let's put his feet on. And that, we're just going to stick them in. Kind of add a little bit of an angle where they'll be sticking out of this part of the, of the patch. And now, I'm going to get his head. I'm just going to give myself a little buttercream to adhere to and I'm gonna get his head stuck in to this part of the cake now if I've had a little trouble with that what I want to do is grab a popsicle stick for a little support for him always use something for a little support behind if he's not standing up you have a little stick oops I gotta get that in straight you can use that to prop him up okay and now little bow tie and we're just gonna sit that right here that's where he went under so there you have it that's our bunny sinking into an Easter egg patch. Really simple to do, really fun. You can get the family involved with it if you want. The kids can pipe this grass. No, no big deal for that, that's a lot of fun. And yummy to eat. This is really cute, spruce up. It can be a centerpiece for your brunch table, you can use it for Easter, even a kid's birthday party, something for spring. Really fun, really cute idea. Thank you guys so much for joining me on live today. We have some cool things coming up. Tomorrow night, we're going to be at Lorena Winery. There's still some spots available. We're doing a wine and truffle tasting, a pairing. It's going to be super fun. I'll be there with Nicole. We're going to talk to you about how chocolate comes to be from the bean all the way to your chocolate bar. We're going to taste some chocolate, drink some wine, and we're even going to make a spring flower to take home. So sign up on the Lorita website, Lorita Winery, if you want to come and join us for that event. Next week, we do have a bunny pull-apart class, but you're too late. It's sold out. Guys, honestly, I'd love to have you join these classes, but you got to sign up early. They book up fast. So come see us soon. Check our website out for events. The May schedule is up. Come and see. Come see what you want to do. Come and join us. We'd love to have you. And we'll see you at Sweet Tooth Saturday coming up soon, too, third Saturday of the month, guys. Have a great week. Join me next week on live. Bye-bye. Jameson says bye-bye.